one step closer to the championship. Top of the table, going into December, but for today, it's EFL Trophy time. Let's go. Rashford's the glory. We're back again. And things have been... We keep saying this every time, don't we? Up and down, up and down. I mean, I say up and down. The league were absolutely flying. It's, it's, it's the Cubs that's been the problem. We can see here. With full out though, if you're enjoying the series so far and you haven't already, down below there, it's that big red button to subscribe. Hit that if you haven't already and give the video a big thumbs up. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Last time out you saw us, we beat Oldham 1 0 narrowly. Xavier Simmons with the goal to put us through. I mean, and since then, as I mentioned, the league has gone pretty well. We can go through it all quickly here. Doncaster, we've got Doncaster, a 0 0 draw in the League One. I mean, not bad result, not bad result. Go from there. Wimbledon, we beat Wimbledon 3 1. Corners getting two goals, and Hector Ingram, as always, firing the goal was in. For Salford, love to see him scoring. Can't stop sometimes. And then the FA Cup came around. First round of the FA Cup. And I kind of wanted to get a bit of a decent run within the FA Cup. And we, we lost to Carlisle. Carlisle, who are 18th in League Two. Yeah. That, that didn't go to plan, basically. We lost that one. Early goal from Phillips as well. Nabby got one back for us, mean, which wasn't enough, though, man. We just, we just, Carlisle just uh, did us, honestly. Couldn't do the business. So then we was like, right, okay. Well, we've got other cups to work on here. The EFL Northern Section Group E finished. We have a 2 0 victory for us over Shrewsbury. Hector Ingram again and Hunter on the goals for us, which now sees today's fixture in the Northern Section second round against Port Vale. But before that, though, a few more league games. You can see here, undefeated run in the league. Starting off with Wigan, 2 2 draw. Hector Ingram. Again, again with the goals, Hector Ingram, key for us with these goals, man. Absolutely flying. And then we've beaten Oxford 3 0, Bristol Rovers 3 0, and Wickham 2 0. Again, goals from Corness, Ingram, McKenzie, Phillips. So we spread it around, back. We have to be trading it around. You can see the league table now and where it looks. We're level on points with Pompey at the top. Are we going to the championship this season? Are we going straight up there? It would be nice, wouldn't it? Get the championship, run the way. To the end goal this save, winning the Premier League. We're on the way there. We can see you now. 20 games in, 12 win, 4 draws, 4 losses. It's not bad. It's not bad. Pompey being the big one we've lost to, though, man. They are right on our tails now. Only on goal difference we're ahead, but you can see there 10, no, 10 goals is the difference maker so far for us. So that positive goal difference is massive for us. We'll keep getting these goals in and keeping Portsmouth at bay. But yeah, no league, league action today. I'm not going to the league today. We're back in the cup, Port Vale. Currently, it's going bit League Two, mid table. We've seen what happened last time we got a League Two team. We 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 lost. So let's hope for an improvement. Let's hope for an improvement. So under the team news for today, this is how we line up. Back with the four three three. We saw in the last few results there in the league. This has been doing the business for us. I mean, against a League Two side, surely it will do the business as well. You'd imagine. So Vic isn't it? McLaughlin, McKenzie, Pollock, and Tonay at the back. London at DM role. Phillips and Nabby as they push us through the midfield to find that space, dragging in next to Curry with Malcolm and Hunter out wide, cutting in there, Malcolm on the inverted winger, supporting Curry while Hunter overlaps that left hand side, gets some balls into the box. I mean, we can't be poor Val, surely, don't we? Really? Let's hope so. So, again, about the start, I didn't touch on the fact Ingram isn't playing, Enis isn't playing, Pask isn't playing. There's a few boys that aren't playing today, I didn't touch on that. And Page just rested them. I feel this Port Vale team is not good enough, basically, compared to the team we have. We can rest some players today. And we can just bring them boys off from the bench if we need to later on. But, I mean, who knows? Who knows? We've already had one big cup set already this season to Carlisle in the FA Cup. Could it happen again? I mean, let's hope not. The players are there. They're on the bench. Uh, hopefully, we won't need to use them. There's Pollock heads clear now. Finds Rossier. Worthington. Quite far out there. Back to Jones. Back to Worthington. I mean, it's good that we're playing from Port Valley yet. We should probably worry, really. Like, we're not playing any of our strongest quote unquote players, I'd say. The ball goes in the box now. All the way back to Amos. Oh, and Vic is the quick distribution there. And lost possession. Phillips wins it back. And again, he's lost it again here. I mean, Phillips is one of our normal starters. The few boys who wouldn't normally start as. Wow. That, that, that was something else, wasn't it? Raymond fires it over the bar from distance. Can't be doing better than that, poor Vaif. Want to beat us, boys? Can't be doing better than that. So Nabi has the ball now. He finds Teray. I mean, there's a few first team players playing here. It's Teray. Oh, Teray's gone down injured here. That can't be good. Phillips, edge of the box. As a dink and 
It's nowhere near. And that's worrying. That trait injury is quite worrying. It's quite pinnacle in this team. I mean, luckily, Cornelius can play there. He's been playing a bit further the pitch in the last few games, but I mean, he can play left back, luckily for us. So we'll drag him into the pitch now. You drag him in. Get in the pitch. Nah, he's, he's, he's on. We just asked him nicely. Do you mind, do you mind warming up, mate? Do you mind warming up? Malafrin. Back to McKenzie. It's a bit worrying here. Something's short passing. Vickers, big boy out wide now. Finds Cornes now. Big ball straight away. Making an impact straight away. He finds Hunter and Hunter. Slashed over the bar. There's a reason why the likes of Enis and Hector Ingram normally start for us up front. You see there, Nabe. Good free kick. But only five McKenzie. Into the box now. Pilot McKenzie. Back into the box, but he hasn't done instead, though. Taking the time here. Salford, bring it forward. Phillips, Pollock. Great play, but I mean, where's that killer ball? McLaughlin, ball in now. Is it? That's going to short here. Phillips. Now the ball goes in the box. Nabby this time, and there we go. Adil Nabby. It's in ninth of the season. Great little bit of work there from the boys. Lovely. Slow build up. I'm taking the time here. They'll wait and wait for that right pass to be put up here. You can see if Phillips gets it, I'm going to wait. Dinks it inside here. Nabby here. Control on the right, shoots to the left. Stone just puts it in his own net. 1 0 Salford. Well, right, we come back now. Stone, put back here, has the ball. Big ball forward. They've lost possession here. Hunter collects it. Curry went behind his man here. Curry has a dink and it's been tipped over here by Stone. Corner now for Salford. Can't make the most out of this. Corner to take it. Whips in. Back stick. It's a great save. Tipped away and booty clear. And Mackenzie's offside. Mackenzie's offside. Not good enough, mate. Stay onside. Downside. Well, we've just come back here. McLaughlin just he stood up. What happened then, McLaughlin? He's up and down inside the pitch here, rolling around now. He's on his stomach. He's got a tummy bug. Did he put? I don't know what's wrong with McLaughlin. I mean, that's another full back down and out by looks at the moment. He hasn't come off though. He's still playing at the minute. So we'll see what happens here. It's Cornes now. Corner into the box. Headed clear. Only as far as Hunter now. McLaughlin again. Cornes, sorry, even McLaughlin's on the. He's on, he's on more on the floor, isn't he, somewhere? I, mean, I don't know if he's in that little... Is he over here, in this little thing? Just the first aid box over here. Glaffrin, you're in there. Phillips, oh, cleared out. Malcolm has a dink, and it's a great save from Stone there. Made easy, and he's booted it clear. Quick interception, but, I mean, nothing comes of it in the end. Half-time, 1-0 to the boys. A trait injury is worrying. I mean, McLaughlin, when he can play on, but I think he's going to be changes to me, mate, here at half-time. We'll see what happens. Let's fix it up. We need to get another goal. We need to get another goal. So change made in the break. The Heine comes on now and right back for McLaughlin. We don't want to risk it, so we've done that. We switched to a 4 4 2 now instead. Just with one play a bit deep at the one pushing on a little bit further. So we're going to see how that goes for us now with Stone. Has the ball here now for Port Vale. Big ball forward. Winners. Nope. Raymond. Oh, he's done it again. Twice this game, Raymond's gotten the ball and just absolutely hoofed it into row Z. He clearly can't shoot. Clearly can't shoot. Corness. Front stick. Dahane. There he is. Look at that. Super sub. What a boy. Demir Caldiani comes on. Bang straight away. No messing around. Big head. He's on the pitch two minutes. Two minutes on the pitch. Look at this. Wins the header. Keepers in no man's land. I don't know what the keeper's doing there. He's all arms like, whoa, where am I going? No, it's no winning the ball, mate, clearly. 2 0 Salford. Lovely stuff. It's what we needed. This is what we needed. Much better football from the boys. You can see the formation on the screen there. It's a bit of a weird offset. It's Cornus now. Try to find Dahani again. Doesn't get this time. McKenzie will pick it up there on the edge of the box. Cornes in swinger. Hunter has a dig. Oh, what a strike from Ashley Hunter. He's further this season. It's a great finish from Hunter. Lovely stuff. Salford now ripping Port Vale apart. Changing tactic is definitely the job here. Up the ampty just a little bit. It's Cornes though. Let's look at his ball here as well. Finds Hunter in so much room. One touch, two touch. Dinks into the far corner. Beautiful from Hunter. 3-0 Salford. Gorgeous. Cornes now. He finds Hunter now. Back to Cornes. Edge here, Lund's there, lovely ball, switches it across, into Malcolm, Phillips cleared away, oh, Hunter should went first time, possibly there, maybe, Cornes, Lund, back to Malcolm, great play here from Salford, cleared out, cleared all the way out now, Zigo gets the ball, we see Paul Bell get a chance here, I mean, we've seen Raymond have two chances, he's got him with the bar both times, uh, don't pass to him, boys, while you, here's Jarvis, edge of the box, and it's another one over the bar, I think Paul Bell needs some shooting practice, I mean, there's three good chances they've had in this game. And they've just bummed all flying over the bar. All right, freeing it up. Against the lower league side, what do you do then? 
you bring Hector Ingram on. Why not? Nabi that comes off. Curry in that DFL role now. Hector Ingram in that advanced forward role. Dahane finds Cornes. Back to Dahane. Nice bit of player, boys. Work into the box. Got the options. Hector's in there now as well. We know he's good for goals as well. Phillips, McKenzie, Dahane. There's Hector. Ball through. Curry on a goal. And there he scores. Mitchell Curry. Salford 4. Port Varnell. Job done. Next round the cup. Let's get there. Let's get to it. When we came straight back here, we have a highlight straight from kickoff by looks of it. Amos gets the ball on the left-hand side. Finds Worthington. I mean, Port Varnell going to get the one back now. They've been seeking for a while. I mean... They've had a fair few chances. Just nothing to hit in the target for him so far. Vickers not how much to do in net today at all, as he realised. Worthington finds Jarvis. Jones a ball at the top. He's thrown goal and it's made easy for Vickers, really. Straight into his arms. No bother at all for the boy. Job done, surely, the match at this point. 15 minutes to go. Salford 4, Port Valnil. It's a very, very long shot that something could go wrong here, you'd imagine, surely. We'll come back now. 10 minutes to go. Stone, big ball forwards. One by our boys, love that. Dahane on this right hand side. Finds Hector Ingram, back to Dahane. Loads room now for Malcolm on the overlap here on the right hand side. Ball in, tries to find Curry. Hunter, still Hunter. Oh, it's a good save from Stone. Straight at him though in the end, straight at him. Gotta be doing better than that, boys. Gotta be not kicking the ball to the keeper, ideally. That's not how you score goals. Don't pass it to his head. Come back here, Agbo. Ball in, cleared out from the boys here. We get a count on the go. Nope. Jarvis from distance, obviously at the bar. And all oh, the rebounds in. Now centre go. It's been coming. They've been trying. They've been shooting from distance for quite a while. They must all have. They must have shot on sight on because they've been shooting from distance for a while. You can see here, Jarvis this time smashes it against the bar. Bailey gets tackled and Izago pops up at the end to make it one for Port Vale. Finally, they got one back. I mean, too little, too late. You'd imagine at this point of the game, McKenzie finds Dahane. I can't remember the pitch now. Curry's through on goal and oh, it's a great save from Stone. Massive save there, keeping Port Vale. I say keeping Port Vale in it. They're losing 4 1. Unless they get something here. You never know. You never know. Oh, it's a good save from Vickers, though. Very good save. The Harney boots it clear. All that to Nunez now. At the other end of the pitch now. Port Vale looking to count from the back. He drives forward. Big switch there. Ball in the box. Oh, great defending, McKenzie. Beautiful. Beautiful. Malcolm. Courage for goal. We come back here. Out of nowhere, really, that move there. Like, we wasn't planning on. Clipping anything there at all for the video. I mean, out of nowhere here. You can see from the highlight, Vickers is the ball here. Big ball forward. Hector Ingram collects it. Lovely bit of skill there. Plays it back to Malcolm. Finds Curry for goal. Mitchell Curry gets his second of the game. Gorgeous finish. 5-1 now for Salford. Surely it's job done. Surely it's job done. Dahani gets the ball. Finds Malcolm. Ingram. Options inside of Phillips. Trying to find Curry. Not a great pass to him though, really, isn't the end. The stone now. Boots it back off field. One back, throw Salford originally, but Jarvis gets the ball now. Finds Bailey on his right hand side. Put Vale looking to put one back here. Late on. Or not. Hunter. Lund. Big ball forward. Oh, intercepted very well there. Worthington now. Finds John and Lund again. Interception both ends of the pitch here. The ball gets booted clear to Jones. I mean, just surely going to be full time. It is. Full time whistle goes. Salford five. Port Vale in the one. You can see there though. Port Vale. 15 shots, five on target. Didn't have a bad game. Good XG of 1.1 as well. Like, and the possession was fairly even. I feel like they've been very unlucky not to get more goals, but clinical. Salford's clinical finishing. Nabi, Dahane, Hunter, two from Curry. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's what you want to see. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Another win for Salford. We go on in the cup. We're top of the league. Will there be a trophy this season? Who knows? But guys, as always, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Come check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash MurphFM. We're doing a Birmingham City save over there. We're currently in the Champions League after winning the Europa League of Birmingham City. How good is that? Come check it out. We'll see you around soon. Thanks again for watching.